Welcome to question number 8, part A. In this question we're given that cos A equals 3 quarters and that A is a reflex angle lying between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. And we, What we're asked to do is find the exact value of the sine of 2A. So, the sine of 2A. We should know this is a night entity and it's equal to 2 sine A cos A. So you should know that one. So if you don't, I would reckon that you should learn that. Along with your other double angle formulas, cos 2A and tan 2A. OK, so assume you've got that far. What I'm going to do now is just draw up my quadrants. So let's just draw some quadrants in, like so. OK, and we should be familiar with the rule that all the trig ratios are positive in this first quadrant, then it goes all sine, tan, cos. And we're looking at angle A, and angle A lies in the fourth quadrant between 270 and 360. So what I'm going to do is just draw that in, just draw a straight line down like that. And we'll pretend that that's angle A, so I'll mark that in as angle A round here, like so. That's my angle A. And that leaves me with an acute angle in here, which I'm going to call theta. When we're always working with the quadrants, we always should work off this horizontal line and the acute angle to that line. So I'm going to mark it in as theta. I'm also going to complete the triangle here. So uh, we'll just drop a vertical line down. So that be like that. OK, so I've got my right angle triangle that I'm going to use. Let's just mark in that's a right angle. OK, now we're given that the cosine of angle A is 3 quarters and cos A is exactly the same as doing the cos of this acute angle theta. So if it's 3 over 4, knowing that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, it will mean that this when compared to this side, the hypotenuse will be in the ratio 3 to 4. That leaves me with this side left to get, and I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem to get it. And using Pythagoras' theorem, we know that it will be the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, minus 3 squared, which is 9. And that's going to come to the square root of 7. So I'll just mark that in as the square root of 7. OK. So what does this mean? It means that we know that the cos of A is 3 quarters, but I'm going to need the sine of A, and uh, the sine of A will be like doing the sine of theta, only we mustn't forget that it's in the fourth quadrant and sine is negative in the fourth quadrant so it's going to be a negative answer and the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse so that's going to be root 7 okay just mark that in over the hypotenuse 4 okay so coming back over to here we've got the sine 2a is 2 times the sine of a which we now know is minus root 7 over 4 so Mark that in is minus root 7 over 4 times the cos of A, which is 3 quarters. So 3 quarters in there. All we need to do now is just tidy this up. I could multiply out, but uh, what I notice is that the 2 and the 4 cancel. So I can say 2 into 2 goes once and 2 into 4 goes twice. OK, tidying this up, 1 times minus root 7 times 3 is negative 3 root 7. So mark that in there. And all that is divided by 2 times 4, which is 8. So that's the exact value of the sine of 2a. OK, and if you did that, you would have got yourself 5 marks. So quite impressive. <laughs> 